Bob, having had this tremendous career in vaudeville, decided to take the show at the end of the season into vaudeville. And we went to um, a little town near Chicago, and we were all on the train. My wife was with the whole bit, and uh, uh, we arrived coming into the station, and there's this tremendous crowd at the station. Now, you have to remember, this was 1978, 1979, and Bob looks out, he says, what's that crowd for? And somebody says, I don't know, I think maybe the Pope is here. And they, they walked out and they found they were all screaming for Bob. He said, oh, because nobody didn't realize the power of radio. It was the first real celebrity in radio. And Bob immediately called his agent over, uh, uh, Doc Schur, and he says, call Paramount. I'm doubling my salary for the next picture. And we go to the theater where he was going to, I know, they called, they did, they asked my wife if she was Brenda or Cabina when she got it. She didn't appreciate that. And uh, he went to the theater and they were running a movie and uh, uh, Bob would do, I think he was going to do three shows a day between the showings of the picture. And so he did his first show, tremendous, tremendous show. And he went on and so on. So there was a line around the theater. People couldn't even get in. So we went back into the theater manager, and he was in on a percentage, and he said to the theater manager, take a reel out of the feature. And the manager said, what are you talking about? He says, take a reel out of the feature, and I'll be able to get in another show, and you'll get that much more money. The owner said, they'll scream if I take her. He says, they won't even notice. By the end of the next day, he had taken four reels or three reels out of the feature. Bob was doing the extra shows, and he got very angry when he could recognize the faces who had been there for two shows. He said, you, 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 you get out, let somebody else pay, and let them get in. And that was it. You know, that was an indication of Bob's realization of his monetary importance.